Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone. One and oh, all. I've opened all my presents. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, snookers. Sorry? Uh, snooker, snooker Q and the rest. I got this for Christmas. Whoa, kitchen converted. Oh, the old oh. friend. A bit annoying because I've got, Whoa. I've got one, of course. But um. Well, I might, I might uh, challenge my dear old friend Al to a quick game of kitchen conversions. Yes, the oldest game there there is or has ever been. Let's play kitchen conversions. Whoa, kitchen conversions. <laughs> right, you go first, Key. Okay. I've got seven hundred and fifty milliliters of fluid here. How many cups do I need to carry it all? Whoa, cups. Well, I mean, cups as a measure. I've never heard cups as a measure. I know it in deep plates. Now, what would that be in cups? You have to go around the houses, convert it into deep plates, and then go from there into cups. There, there is a traditional answer in kitchen conversions, isn't there? What is it? I don't know. I'll and go then I say, I don't know either. And then that's the end oh. of the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, my bad. I'm going to say a cup. Yeah, I'll say a cup as well. Okay. Is it a cup? Uh, I want a little bit more. I want a slightly more. Two cups. A bit more. Ten cups. No, just uh, just above two. T- two, two again. No, more than two. Oh, no, two. Two cups. It was three, so it's a draw. The game's a draw. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> three. I mean, what? talking of talking of three cups, I've got one cup. Well, talking of three cups, I've got one cup. Well, speaking of three cups, I've got one cup, but it's not a Christmassy cup. But what I could do is put a hat on on the cup, I suppose. Yeah, it's then, harder to drink. Harder to drink, and also that leaves me with that hat. Or does it? Nope. I've got another hat. I've got another hat. Uh, <laughs> I've got another hat. I'm going to have a, a Robin mince pie, I'm afraid. Mm. It's very oh. hard to blame you. I haven't had a Robin mince pie for a jersey long time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I haven't had one for uh, Peter Buckley Hill of a long time, I must say. I haven't had one for Munnery Munnery Months, but I've got one now. <laughs> Key to start. Yeah. Is there a comedian who's... Okay. Mrs. Claus. Ah. <whistles> yes, a sexy treat early on in this second Christmas game. Genuinely, I fancy her. Of course. No more orders. Ah, <laughs> uh, the other chat. <laughs> no more people whose, you know, significant other. Uh, there's evidence that he owns a, or she owns a. Simple as saying. <laughs> simple as saying. When you think about it. <laughs> A simple word beginning with S and ending in K. A slave factory. What? Oh, a a slave factory, but ending in K. No, sack. 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 No more people whose partner's in a sack. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, Merry Christmas to you two. Oh, Merry Christmas one and all. There's an easy one, but I suppose name another. Well, well, uh, now then. Um... There must be well, other jobs where you have to have a sack. Well, I can think of at least one more. Well, Mrs. Pat. I think it's loads more. Mrs. Pat? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Person oh. Pat's wife. After that, though, the world does run a bit dry in terms of famous partners with sacks. Person <laughs> partner with black and white sack. That's not even going in. That's not going in. <laughs> no, he's not putting that in. It barely came out. <laughs> so, but if you could find somebody dressed up as Santa holding ah, up a sack, or, does that mean they own the sack? Oh, this is the sort of, this is where, he, this is exactly, this is fiddly. There was proof of ownership of the sack, weirdly. <laughs> So, the way, to gain the proof, is it 90 seconds to get this proof of sack ownership? 90 seconds to find their partner with a sack. I don't think I own a sack, just to put it out there. I've got a, ru- a, a rucksack. Is that a sack? Oh, yeah, a, ba- a bag A bag would do it. Hey, Do you know what people... <laughs> <laughs> well, is a rucksack a sack? It sounds like a sack. It sounds a lot a like a sack. Bag. It sounds like a sack. Hey, is a rucksack a sack? Well, it sounds like a sack. Is a rucksack a sack? My heart is so black when I think of a sack and a rucksack. Hi, hi. Well, that's rap, rap, rap. Um, I, I, I wouldn't mind clarification on whether rucksacks are sacks and whether bags are sacks. Let's talk about sacks. Well, I often call it my shopping sack when I go to Sainsbury's. Mm. They often say, would you like a sack when you get stuff in Sainsbury's? I bought a sack for life yesterday. Mm. I think we should keep it a sack because lots of people own a bag now. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm asking about rucksacks. That's why you want the clarification. 
Oh, right, sorry, hang on. <laughs> is it a strapless a strapless sack? Is that what you're looking for? Strapless. Perfect. Hang on. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Did Father Christmas have a strapless sack? Yeah. That's why he's doing that all the time. He's not doing that. I'm worried about rucksacks. Well, that's why you started doing the rucksack rap. I don't think I can see my rucksack. It's not a sack, it's a bag. It should be a ruck bag. Right, the game carries on a pace. Oh, uh, yeah, it certainly does. Well, now that... You've only left yourself a little window to look through. <laughs> it should be. It's because my, I was worried that my backdrop wasn't festive enough, but now all you can oh, see is front my velvet well, see bag and mat. You can only see a front drop now. All right, well, so it's with the greatest pleasure wow. that I uh, shake someone by the shoulders and say, you're on, lad. Thank Oscar you. the Grouch. The... Uh, Bin-dwelling puppet. Mm, the bin dwelling puppet, the BDP. Definitely picture him with a sack. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but it's not him I'm worried about. So oh, much. yeah, Mrs. Grant. I, I forget that bit. <laughs> and I don't think that he's likely to be in a relationship because <laughs> of, you know, his habits. <laughs> my sack category is... Um, sack agree. My sack agree is causing a little bit of... Um, uh, um, it's making people think twice, let's put it that way. Good start. Well, all right, no more people who... When you think about it. If you stop to think. When you think about it. Uh, their houses really stink. But they, and actually, it's not quite that, but it's almost that. No more people who don't principally live in a house, whose principal address is not a house. So in this case, he lives in a bin, of course. Sometimes I think, maybe, I'd like to live in a bin. I want to live in a bin. For, <laughs> I want to be in a popping out of a bin for game three. In the end, though, you've gone with a big house with a lovely big garden and a hot tub. And, may I add, a bin. Would I sort my house for a thousand bins? <laughs> Let me know if you are interested. It's a bit like crossing out Vixen last week. Rachel would be cross with me if she came home and I'd swapped her house for a thousand bins. But it would be hard to put a positive spin on it if you came home and Rachel said, where's our nice house? And you just pointed to an enormous row of bins stretching as far as the eye could see. And the That's three boys were each in a bin. And the dog was in another bin. Richard Osman. Mm. No more people who were on BBC One or Two on the 30th of November, 2021. Ah. You've got 90 seconds to check the schedules. I don't think that's a bad category. I'm quite enjoying this uh, thing that's creeping into the modern game where people review their own categories and sort of see if they like what they've done or not. It's I don't mind. Stuart it's Lee, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> I might ping out a goat. Oh, it's being out of go. Greatest, greatest of all days. Mike Wozniak. Hello? Yeah, he, no, he's just pinging out a go. It'll be right. really awesome. Yeah, no, I know. He's just pinged it out to me as well. Well, I can't at the moment. Bye I'm bye. just pinging a code out to these guys. I can't hear you, really, because this is, this is calculator. Yeah, no, I don't know what's in the bottle. It doesn't look nice. Bye-bye. No, this had a Robin Ince pie in it. I don't feel that go, did you, Alex? No. I think it's the opposite of a goad. I think it's a, it's a cuddle. Well, either way, M Mike Wozniak... You didn't welcome him to the game very ceremoniously. M Mike Wozniak. M Mike Wozniak. M Mike Wozniak. M Mike Wozniak. There's an element of risk about it, I suppose. Well, that's that's why it's known in the game as a goad, and always will be. And always has been. Well, no, it was a lure, and I, I got the word wrong. <laughs> well, we'll say it always has been a goad from now on. <laughs> No more of these things. Ding, 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 ding. Mouth. No, no more mouths. It means uh, we mean a standalone moustache without a beard, do we? Mm. I, I just want one clarification, mate. Is it has ever owned a moustache or currently owns a moustache? You're not going to like this. It's cross that bridge, I'm afraid. Oh, my word. It's CTB. It's gone for CTB. <laughs> I don't think that's how you... Sort of play games. I think it's how I have played it. Am it's... I allowed to mention Mark Lawrence or not? No, yeah, he's got a moustache. Even though he doesn't have a moustache? Oh, well, no, he does. Same goes for Sooners? He's got a moustache in the past. He's a good example. OK, when you picture them, they've got a moustache. Uh, oh, that's much more scientific, yeah. I feel like I could not walk here by picturing Sooners now. By picturing him and then airbrushing out the moustache in your mental picture. Well, yeah, I can only actually see his eyes. <laughs> you, you decide when you walk, so you decide what you oh, picture and you decide whether you go. 
I'm going to CBD when it comes to it, and I'm, I probably you know, end up not seeing the B, the TDB. I always forget that that begins with B, and I also forget that bridge begins with D. I will cross Bratridge when it comes to it, and if I don't cross it, it's because I'm picturing only in one eye. Well, 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 well. Never heard that many wells in a row. Did one one extra, I think. Did I do four? I think he did five, actually. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. well, well. Yeah, five. When I write dialogue, very rarely, every line pretty much starts with well. (laughs) Yeah, because that is what people say a lot, isn't it? (laughs) Well. Ah, well. Nah, let's be honest here. I I start with now a lot as well. I wasn't listening. Why not? Are you still not listening? I am now. Right. Well, what are you doing when you're not listening? Thinking. There's a delicate balance between listening and thinking this game. I'm currently listening. I'm not thinking. I'm currently listening. I'm currently listening. Jane Austen. I heard it, but I didn't go in because I wasn't thinking. Good. Normal people, you can prove. With 90 seconds of this going on, prove without a shadow of doubt that they've been to Bath. Bath. Bath Spa. The town of Bath. The city of Bath, actually. Wowzers. I seem to remember going to Bath and there's a there's like um it's a bit of a bit of a pain in the neck, is it? Didn't I remember it? it being a pain in the neck, yeah. Yeah. Well I mean yeah, it depends what sort of thing you're trying to do really. I seem to remember there was a bit where I'm walking along and the path started going up and I know Sorry, the, the bath started going up. The path started going up and before I knew where I was there was a Sorry, wall. the path started going up. No, Al. Let's let's say the my 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 uh, the path. The path was going up, and uh, before I knew where I was, there was like a path here. Pardon me. <laughs> well, okay. Well, look. You know, you can you can listen to my words, or you can just take it take take my word. We're listening uh, to your words, yeah. But bath was. <laughs> Have you moved there? Yeah. Yeah. Michelle Obama. Oh. That's a goat. I'm challenging this, by the way, so good luck. Get your category out and wait for me to uh, bite your ass. <laughs> Which digit? 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 Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, right. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Shania Twain. No more people. Who would you think about it? You can't think of at least two more people with the same first name. You'd like to, but you can't. You just can't. You name can't. another. Shaggy. I can think of one other. Shaggy. Shaggy. Yeah. So I can't have Penelope. Well, I, if you do, if you don't think we can name, they've got to be famous other people. But there's definitely a few more Penelopes out there, aren't there? As long as three people in total have that name. So for the challenge, you've got to be naming a couple of other Penelopes. Ooh. Judd Trump. I mean, it's a brave. It's. A, it's a <laughs> 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 You're definitely fine with that previous category. I think so. Yeah. I've only got one in my head. But if you've got a couple... Well, you don't want more than that, do you? I can't think of... You want more than that. What? You understand the category? Yep. I'll change that. I'll go pug... I'm going to go for Pugwash. Are you saying his first name is Captain? (laughs) (laughs) Do you understand the category? Yeah. Do you? (laughs) Pugwash has got a first name, and it's pretty unusual. No, you know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go for Tarzan. What's he called? Tarzan Jungle. John West. John West, the tuna man. Well, yeah, not the serial killer. No, because different oh, name. <laughs> the John West, the tuna magnate. Yeah. The tuna entrepreneur. The tuna um, billionaire. The fish man. I had someone trying to sell me a dolphin-friendly tuna the other day. I don't care how they get on with your dolphins. Stand, stand up. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go John West. No more people whose 
if you put the letters of the first name onto beer mats, one on each beer mat, and then you put the letters of the second name onto beer mats, one on each beer mat. So you've got eight beer mats in front of you now. <laughs> and if you put the J on the, the, like the E or something, all the ones on the first word go on to all the ones on the second word, you can cover the second word. So you're just saying the two names with the same of the same length? Yeah. <laughs> you're not matching up the vowels and consonants? You're just literally covering one set of name, letters with another? I can name another as well. You don't have to? Yeah, I think we, we believe there are other people with, with names like that. You, for example. I have got beer mats here to test it if we need to. <laughs> we might have to. We might need to. <laughs> I do go ice tops, and I know that's not traditional, but I do Ooh. always go ice tops. I didn't know that about you. You do ice tops on most of your foods. Uh, yeah, I had a, I had a chicken jar for Aisy last night, ice I, tops. I'll lob a challenge in, I suppose. Challenge. Well, I, I don't know anything about the guy, but <laughs> you can probably, not probably, it's possible you can you can find that he's gone to Bath. He might have gone to conferences and stuff. And, I think you know, there's going to be a lot of John Wests, aren't there? John West is the Bath. But, You've got to get it going. And also, it's Bath by the sea. But it's a pain in the neck, I know that. It's no Bristol, put it that way. There's a hell of, hell of, hell of a lot of John West. Is he a minor well, pirate in the Caribbean? I think if you put John West tuna in, you're not a million miles away, are you? Well, I'm putting, I, put, I did that, but then I'm trying to put, find him on Wikipedia, see if he went to university there, but... Oh, that would be incredible. I mean, John West isn't a person, it's a company. Right, well, <laughs> OK. <laughs> John West was founded by T.L. Pelling and C.H. Stanley in 1857 in Oregon, America. Ah, so then this is an unusual moment in Nemo Jockeys where we find out that... that we find out the person isn't the person, and if he was, it was, it'd be American. It's one of the first times I think we've had a, an individual named who isn't... Um, yeah, but it explains, it explains why when I googled picture of John West in Bath, didn't like, get yeah. a lot up. Interestingly, the last two people we've googled have either not existed or just had their boy out. <laughs> yeah, but it makes you wonder what the next one's going to be like, really. <laughs> We're looking for now for someone who exists and it's in their trousers. Hmm. I wonder whether I'd go and get my back scratcher. I've got a mouse, by the way. I've just set up a humane trap in the you, when I went and got my coffee. You went too quickly from back scratcher to mouse. I was thinking that the back scratcher was a mouse. He's just doing loads of conversations to see what happens, see what works. Shall I go get my back scratcher? I've got a mouse. I've got a uh, window <laughs> in my Christmassy bag and see it. If I can find the name of an individual who could be the, the latest to be featured in No More Jockeys. Wait, is that a sack? In there? Is that a sack? Yeah, so he's not, he can't name Coop. <laughs> I caught sight of a couple of things in there. I, I won't lie to you. I actually can't believe what's happening in the kitchen. Uh, oh, so what's happened to the for the viewer? I asked him on the chat what's going on in the kitchen, but he's direct messaged me but not Mark. So I now know what's happening in the kitchen. Oh, I don't believe it. Is it to do with this mouse, the, the, the humane trap? Yeah. He's just saying that he's got two of them that don't even run away. I can believe that, yeah. <laughs> That's easy to believe. How big are they? Have they got two legs or four? Show me with the... How big are they? Ah. So that sort of thing. You want to see the tail? Like that. Uh, I want to see the tail. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing the tail. Well, why didn't you do the noise as you as you stretched it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh fuck! We've only had a couple of categories, haven't we? Uh, not all over, no. Oh, I just heard a click. Do you think that's the humane mouse trap? Uh, hang on, I'm just going to check this. If this, if I've, if I've got a mouse, I'll give you the money myself. Let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, you say humane, but I don't know. Well, no, you, it kills it, doesn't it? But it kills it nicely. That's not very humane. No. I mean, it's disappointing for the mouse. I mean, it's slightly you tell me. Yeah, you got a mouse. Yeah, there's a mouse in there. <laughs> Would you believe it? First live mouse in, in jockeys, I think. Yeah, first mouse. Well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I've just caught a mouse. Happy first mouse. Well, I'll I, I say one thing for it. It's living in a fucking house. Exactly. I might go for the mouse. Yeah, the mouse. <laughs> the, the mouse. The mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. The mouse. Uh, there might be something wrong with this, but it's funny. No more people that have been under the same roof as Key. Fantastic. Wow. 
has been under the same roof as. Is yeah. Good well, the reason I didn't say anything like has met Key or, or that Key has met is because well, nice can't meet people. We know that. In feces about a horse that we had that time, exactly. I think that's the lush category, actually. You don't even have to have actually met to them, just been proximate. I've got a sort of hint of a challenge. <laughs> it's quite it's fun to challenge a mouse. When I pick your mouse, it's got a moustache. <laughs> I think that's why you call it a moustache, because mice have the uh, whiskers. That's why it's called a, m- a moustache. Let me just have a look at this guy. Have you gone mad? Why is it? Not, why else would it be called a moustache? <laughs> All mice have moustaches. Not this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying the word moustache derives from mouse. Well, I am, but I'm also arguing that whiskers are moustaches. You've I'm delivered. not expecting a, a walk here. I don't but, think scuttling away because of, you think that a mouse has facial hair. I, I, I would be keen to know why, why it's called a moustache. Me too, and I also don't think it's the most stupid challenge we've ever had, really. You're also trying to cut the book slightly by continually using the phrase mouse-touch. <laughs> well, can we see the um, upper lip of the mouse, please? But it's got a couple of careless whiskers. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, that to me looks like a moustache. <laughs> I think there's humane and then there's sort of, you know, having a photo shoot with it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you kill the mouse? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think I'm unlucky if I go on that being a moustache. I think it's, a, it's I think it's one of the great challenges. <laughs> a very inventive challenge, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have whiskers there, let's put it that way. Does a mouse have a moustache? <laughs> Does a mouse have a moustache? Does a mouse have a moustache? Does a mouse have, a mustache? <laughs> Does a mouse have facial hair? I don't think that's a moustache. I don't think I'm going to walk. It's very clever play. Yeah. Look at that mouse tosh. Well, I'm tempted to say he's been to Bath, but I haven't got proof. You'd do very well to prove that, I think. We don't know very much about the guy's CV at all. I'll ask him. <laughs> I forgot you can speak the languages of beasts. He's saying he's been to Bath. Ah. <laughs> he said, it, he said it, it was a pain in the neck. Old Squeaky stepped up and um, got me out of jail, very much as Pineapple Man did in that important game in Edinburgh. Well, I think I'm going to go for Challenge. Oh. You're challenging the mouse? Well, I don't think there's anyone else called Old Squeaky. Ah, uh, yeah. Old well, Squeaky, I- should, uh, uh, to clarify, it's just a nickname I give him. But okay. also, it's only the first name, and there are probably loads of people called Old. Or called the. So we've all lost the challenge, have we? <laughs> ben Johnson, Canadian sprinter. Oh, maybe he's got a moustache. Well, also he was naughty. Are we allowed naughty people? I was going to have. I was going to have that as one of the categories. Oh, no more naughties. Yeah, but I can't, I'm not going to have him because I can only picture him with a moustache now. Well, your problem is he was active in the '80s when people did go in for moustache. All right. Does a mouse have a moustache? Woo woo. There's a mass of facial hair. I'm going to release it with care. So you have to release them more than two miles away from your flat. Yeah, I once went to France to do it. Well, because I released one in lockdown, and uh, three hours later... Hello, Mousy. Suitcase in hand. Well, I, I hate to say this, but I, Penelope Pitstop. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is Key's department, because that guy and Penelope Pitstop are like that. Penelope Pitstop... No more job gloves. Job, sorry, job gloves. Yeah, she worked in the driving industry. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got you. No, okay. that's not her job. Well, she had to wear the gloves for doing whatever her job was because she always seemed no, to wear them. No, her job is she's, an, she's a society girl. She's a socialite. Well, she wore them when she was doing that as well. No, she wore them to drive. She was dri- she'd wear driving gloves to Have drive. Have you ever seen a picture of her without gloves on? Yep. Have you? <laughs> she's with Matty Newkinen. <laughs> no, no more job gloves. It was a bit panic station for me there. I was really worried about myself. I wonder if I should challenge just to keep the time, just to keep the pace up. Feel free to, but that'll be your last one. I'd go, I'd go in if I were you. I'll challenge. Maybe she didn't didn't live in a house. Maybe she because it's a cartoon character. She has some funny thing like a castle. Yeah, a castle or a, or a funny old cabin or something. <laughs> I think a cabin is a house. I, I, I don't think she lived in a bin, but that wasn't the category. I can't get any, like, dwelling action on pit stop. Yeah, I didn't think that you were necessarily going to rush this one through in the Christmas post, I must say. 
very rare uh, sighting of her not played by Key. Must be one of the only times that's happened. Although it felt weird, it felt weird. Colin Montgomery. Ah, 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 ah. But I don't think I remember as many things as you two because <laughs> otherwise you'd have said Colin Montgomery. You know what? I might go a little bit elsewhere. Mm, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I might say someone that we should have said years and years ago. Longs ago. And that is the man, the myth. Steve Backley. The original Steve Backley. Gary Kasparov. Oh, I don't think we've ever seen had him for a long time. Hmm. Oh, bugger me. He was good at chess, old Kasparov. Oh, yeah. What? You know what the rumour is? All the flick. Good matter the rules. <laughs> OK, no more people where there's footage of them moving something a small distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Footage. I mean, there's a, there's In this case, a chess piece. Picking something up and placing it. Right. Just one square away. Within a, within a yard, yes. Yeah. Right. 90 seconds to find footage of them moving something a small distance. I'd like to say name another who isn't a chess player. Oh, I can easily do that. Uh, well, not easily. <laughs> Michaela Tab. Michaela yeah. Tab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's potential challenges. Are you interested, Porto, or not? Yeah, there's a tasty-looking one, but uh, it's sort of death or glory, isn't it? I've got the turkey to carve in a minute. Ah, yeah. Mum and, dad are, mum and dad are still on the porch, so I'm going to... I'll go on challenge. He might have popped into Bath. I've been as close to Bath as Cheltenham with Gary Kasparov at the book fair, book festival. Um, oh, I thought Kasparov died in the 19th century. I uh, know Kasparov is, the, is still the world's uh, greatest, one of the world's greatest right. living chess players, don't worry. Did you think Kasparov was Rasputin? Or? <laughs> I, didn't think he, I didn't think he'd been to Cheltenham with Mark Watson. It's the dreaded phrase, must include Bath and then missing Bath. Yeah. And uh, Key survives with a very good play, I thought. And so, with a sort of a mixture of regret and pride, really, I, I think I'm going to say Colin Montgomery and see what happens. <laughs> Key pulled out of it probably for a reason, but he might have just got the yips, and yeah, that can happen. And anyway, we, we, your, your mum and dad are on the porch, and, and uh, I think I can hear sleigh bells. No more people. Silence, oh. please. And carry on. Colin Montgomery, and I think he can maybe smell blood here, but he might be smelling mud here. No more people who... Uh, you can find a, like, a report of them being really grumpy and cross. Yeah, yeah, he does get cross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets really cross with the crowd if they make a noise or criticise him. Grumpy's different to angry, isn't it? Yeah, grumpy. Challenger. Yeah, it's not too surprised. Where are we going? Well, I've, got, I've invested in a... Uh... Mobile phone. Mobile phone, so I can do the work now, finally. Well, can you type in... Colin Montgomery, Jobby G's. Right. I, I see where you're going with this, but does it need to be double then? <laughs> Obviously, there's lots of pictures of him wearing a glove. Yeah, but gloves. What, what, what do you want me to type in? Job gloves? But you said no more job gloves, Horn. But gloves do normally come in twos. He definitely wears a glove. Was it no more pair of job gloves? Sorry, Horn. Well... It's not, it's not down to me. I've squirmed out of one. I think I should walk here. I think I should walk here. And I, I, I've got one W up under yeah. my belt. I think it's unsavoury to dig in again. You, I got think. Your first, you got your first ever Christmas W last week. I enjoyed my first, my maiden festive were just last week. He's off, is he? I am gone. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> Lo lovely walking. No, it's, it's, it's a fair cop. Also, it's fraught with danger to... Name someone who another player has visibly stepped aside from. It was, but I couldn't really think of any other, more people, so it seemed like he just came to hand. You know, it falls to Horn now to see if he can deprive Key of what would be a fourth festive W in in his history. I'd love this. He's had a rotten, 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 rotten run. He's eaten a rotten, 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 rotten bun. Well, some... I think I might go for Eric, who became Banana Man. I don't know what his surname was, so that's a worry. No more people you can find a drawing of them in 90 seconds. Or less. Fewer. Uh, go on then, Watto. Here we go. You don't eat a banana without moving it 
you know, <laughs> towards you. Come on, Watto, you've got to go quicker. Eric, I am. Moving. Eric, Eric moving, you're typing in. Eric moving. He's got to move. So... All right, Eric becoming Banana Man. Does he? Do we see him move anything in this? <laughs> I think I've got something that I can at least submit. I think I've got a submission. Well, are you going to submit now? Yeah, submit. Well, he might have moved something. He's got to be similar to chess, I think, isn't it? I don't think it was similar to chess, exactly. He just had to have moved something a small distance, didn't he? Yeah, no, I'm interested. I'm interested. This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing double life occurs. Was that it? The moving the banana? I don't think the banana stays stationary, does it? I mean, uh, that must have been the sort of thing he was imagining when he made the challenge. So it was actually no more people, you can see them eating? (laughs) (laughs) I think we expected more. Well, Well, are you saying that banana stayed in his pocket? Well, it's like moving a tennis racket, isn't it? No, because it's got a home and it's got a destination. Will you walk on that? Definitely not. (laughs) So this in a banana. moving a chess piece is is moving a chess piece like that is is moving something a short way, but moving a banana to a trap is not the same human action. Well, the other example was Michaela Tab, which was the only other example we could think of, rather than anyone eating anything ever. No, I I, what, I, I was talking about her eating. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> well, look, no, you don't have to walk on that by any means. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. We don't have no. time. We, 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 I literally can't play on, but also, oh. let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's a great bit of work. W! W. Whoa. We've got... <laughs> it's moved a bit. It's moved. It's, it's not moved as much as the mouse is going to move, because I've got to move the yeah. mouse too. <laughs> right, look, well played, Key. It's an excellent play. challenge. An excellent bit of work. It's fantastic. It's one great. of the great games. Great play. Key deserves his, his W, and it means that we go into game three with... Uh, the prospect of uh, either of us winning outright or a three-way tie if one can uh, get a Christmas miracle going. <laughs>